Welcome to Let's Play Monster's Den, Book of Dread. I'm Wando Bondo, and I hope you enjoy the game. I've played Monster's Den for uh, a long time, a couple years, I think, at one point. It's been a little while since I've played. I enjoy the game very much. I think it's an excellent strategy game. I like to take my time. I like to think things through, and uh, I like to play on Extreme, so that's what we'll be playing to today. Um, also, I'm going to explore 100% and clear 100% uh, of all levels. Uh, also, we're going to attempt to kill the Corruptor. We're playing the, corrupt, uh, the Den of Corruption. We're going to attempt to kill the Corruptor on round one. So, uh, when we get to level nine, we'll see that. And uh, the group is going to be made up of one cleric in the first position, two warriors in positions two and three, and the mage in position four. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to play in extreme mode. I'm not going to play with any of these other options. I definitely like to go to the store. That's part of the fun of the game. Uh, no regeneration, power regen in combat is very tedious and not fun at all, in my opinion. Game over if party is defeated. That I could click, it wouldn't matter. Normally we're not going to lose, I hope. <laughs> and uh, usually I'll have some kind of uh, boots to escape instantaneously, so we shouldn't have that problem, but I'm not going to click it. I'm not going for score. Um, no, and if we do lose, uh, I don't mind losing some some items so we're just gonna go with this and continue and first thing I like to do there's nothing really to choose here so um, we'll kinda go through everything little by little as we play the game so let's uh, let's explore first I wanna see as much of the map as possible before we make any decisions always get that portal scroll that's good like to continue. Uh, I like to get the big picture. See as much as possible. Figure out what I need. Well, that's nice. Look at armor. I love to see armor. I wish one of these two uh, shrines was one of those blue shrines. Those things are excellent. I'm not using that yet. Here's the final group. Let's see. We got one lich. That's trouble. Two wraiths. That's not bad because we do have a mage and a cleric, and we should be able to take care of those wraiths uh, very quickly. One shot, one kill type deal. Uh, and we can heal through what the lich does and Black Horus. We should be good. This should be pretty simple. I do. If I have a caster and a cleric, I do like to see. Wraiths. The only danger there is that um, they will put out a lot of damage right away. So we have to be careful. <laughs> Hopefully they won't kill us instantly. If they don't kill us the first round, we should be okay. So we're going to keep exploring. I like to explore 100%. And we have a bow. That is excellent. Got to be careful not to misclick. If I misclick, the game is over and uh, we'll be in trouble. So we don't want that to happen. All right, Brick, uh, I name these guys based on what their jobs are. So Ward is the cleric. Brick is going to be the tank and he looks like he can take some beatings. Death, uh, planning on getting him the execute function and putting him in the back row and hopefully killing later on in the game but uh, for the first level probably the bow is going to be the main mainstay but uh, at least for the final battle let's just go ahead and wait and see how that works out so any of armor and three health regeneration well we're definitely getting lucky on this one one intellect we'll definitely pass that to the cleric later we definitely need the most armor possible on brick and i hope we find one of those big tower shields because those things can really help a lot. All right, two warp staffs, two crack staffs. That's not really helpful. Health regen. We'll definitely take that. Probably. 
I definitely think on death. I'd like to get his quickness up, so that won't hurt anything. And let's see which ones is a cracked bow, not so good. Uh, crossbow of insight, minus 20 quickness. Well, I probably would take the crack bow over that. I just really don't want to have his quickness down to nothing. I'd like to have him go a little bit quicker. And plus five chance to hit, 24 damage. That's pretty good. Something. Nothing great. Oh, here's 25 damage and drain health. That's even better for our, what we're looking for. I'm not looking for the warrior to do damage. Mainly I'm looking for the warrior to, oh yeah, and this will be perfect for the cleric. Uh, I don't remember if this always hits. Yes, it does, so it doesn't matter. Since it always hits, can't use that, I don't think, with the mage. No. So maybe, if this guy's going to be in the back row, then we're not going to use this here. Uh, we'll give it to the cleric and we'll see how it goes. But definitely vampirism would help brick a little bit more. We definitely want that drain help. That's a little bit better than anything else that we had. Alright, I like to organize them like this so I can see what new items I'm going to get right there. A little bit more to look at. Didn't see that at first. I think that's it. Let's see, we've got 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're basically seeing the whole map. That's probably it. All right, let's start killing things one at a time. Oh, this one, it's too many there. We don't want to take on anything too crazy at first. I'd like to get more gear. I'd like to get a tower shield, hopefully. I'd like to make sure I'm not misclicking so I know that I'm not going through anything or I don't know. I, I don't trust this game, especially when you make a mistake, then it's done. You know, you're one and done kind of thing. So, all right, everybody else in the back row, I think. Uh, one other consideration is sometimes things strike through and you got to be careful who you put behind what, but nothing strikes through here. We should be okay. Alright, let's hopefully stun this lich. No. And this is the worst one. I hate this poison. It just drives me crazy because you have to deal with the whole thing and so you have to heal everybody and it's not any fun. Let's just get rid of that thing. We'll just wait. We don't want to kill the skeleton. We have to. We're going to pass with the space bar. We're just going to get him out of there. We don't need to wait for all this. There goes the uh, poison. That's good. Pass. And pass. Get him out of there, that way we don't have to worry about healing him. We're going to heal ourselves. We're gonna, we can just attack a little bit. We'll bring him down so we can finish it off later easily. Pass with Blaze. Let's do one more with Blaze, then we'll get, we'll get her out so it'll be easier and quicker. And eventually I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you these you know what I do to try to maintain all my health and maximize everything but it is kind of boring I might cut it out later but I'll, I'll do it for the first few go rounds and uh, we can see how it goes so we'll get that little vampirism that was nice and we can get rid of we can let uh, retreat on blaze now we just have to rest with ward We'll rest with brick. Blaze is out. That'll help it go faster. Then we don't have to do as many. We have to heal here. We could have used defiance, but that might speed it up a little bit. Now we pass. We pass. Now we're just healing up and getting all of our mana back so we can fight the next battle. 
uh, without wasting all of our potions. If, if we don't do this, uh, we're going to run out of potions really quickly, and you know we're going to need them maybe if something bad happens. So let's just keep passing, and we'll keep uh, this guy's regenning. So we got to attack him. Now we should be full mana. That's good. We will heal, be full up, and hopefully this will be a kill. And this is the best we can do. Everybody's full except for this last one. Good. And we have new gear. So let's see what we got here. One strength and 20 armor. Well, let's go ahead and make this guy. Since we only have one helmet, our ward didn't have one. So, and here 40 armor. That looks like a pretty good upgrade. Yeah, that's that's really good. So let's see what is uh, 29 damage reduction. That's excellent. If we get a shield, this is going to be an easy level. If we don't get a shield, well then, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Two skeletons, that's an excellent one. One skeleton. Well, let's take on the easy stuff here. Let's take on the... We can use these to, to heal up. Save your little ones sometimes to heal up with the method that I just showed this guy's probably going to do some damage let's see how much wraiths do to us we can put this guy right here because he can't be hit so that's good now we can get him in the battle all right let's go ahead and pound on this guy this guy he can make this guy do his thing, whatever, he'll vanish and heal himself or something, so now <laughs> had a little bit of a problem there. Let's smite this guy and hopefully kill him. Good. Now we can heal up a little bit. This guy hits so hard. It's too crazy. Uh, let's just go ahead and do the, the kill and we'll heal up on one of those skeletons or something. Alright, what do we get here? Hopefully a 25 damage. Ooh, 24. If you can do 25, you can kill a Wraith in one blow, because a Wraith has zero armor, from what I remember, and it has 25 hit points at level 1. So we can do one kill here. Uh, that'll be good. Let's see what we got here. Drain health. That's that's nice. That's double, double vampirism. So we're doing well with an extra strength. That's good. That will help us stay alive. Get rid of that warp staff. Okay. Continue on. This looks like a good battle. We're getting stronger. Alright, this looks good. Okay, we're getting the pain put on us right away. Let's do the archer. The vampire kind of heals up a little. Actually, there's less uh, less hit points. We could probably... We're going to need a heal right here, so let's just do this guy. And did he freeze? He did freeze. Look at that. So it's stunned. Oh, see, we can't really do anything here. We should have put the bow on him and started using this for the back row. That's what we're going to do next time. Because we just have to pass with this guy. We can't kill the skeleton. We need it to heal up. We're going to go ahead and do Defiance just to make sure we don't die. Matter of fact, then we could go ahead and save ourselves some time and blast right here. Good. And Blaze can work on this. A miss. Gotta love those misses. And see, we had Defiance, so he couldn't have died. And Brick, let's just do another Defiance just in case. And let's go ahead and yeah, you know, let's go ahead and pound this vampire. And let's do 31 damage. Nope, still won't kill it. Let's just do a regular attack then. Actually, with the poison, maybe it would have. I don't know. All right, pass brick. We're, oh, you know what? We better do another defiance. It's, I don't know if we have enough mana to heal. Yeah, we do. Let's just heal. 
Oh, no, we need to heal now. Let's let's not play around too much. Get carried away, and next thing you know, we're in big trouble. And it only takes one little slip, and uh, these guys can punish you, especially. I think level three, level four, probably is the toughest levels. So let's just keep going. Uh, we're just trying to get our mana back and get everything back and heal up. And let's go ahead and retreat out with death. Let's go ahead and keep passing with brick and with ward and blaze. Alright. And brick. Let's just go ahead and do. Uh, let's just pass. And Ward can do a heal. Blaze can pass. Alright. Can do a little bit of damage here and get. Look at that. Double that. We're, uh, we're doing pretty well there with that vampirism. Let's heal and then we can get rid of Blaze. We can knock her out of the battle. This guy regens, so we'll be able to take advantage of that a little bit here and there. And we'll get a rest again. We'll be able to do the vampirism to heal up a little bit here and there. I think we can do it again. Yeah, it does 32, and you'll have more than that next time, so rest. Yep, we can hit him again. Let's do it. Well, let's, I don't know if we have any reflection, damage reflection that could kill it, so I'm going to wait on that. And Ward can heal himself. Alright. Alright, we can pass. Let's go ahead and heal Ward Brick. And we'll pause. And Ward will rest. And now it's getting close to the end here. We're getting there. Rest. And you can always fast forward it if you don't want to see this. I don't think I'll have too much interesting to say, but you never know. Alright, we're going to rest. And we're going to heal. Well, this is... See, actually Ward and Brick. Well, Ward somehow, I put something on him that made him go after brick that was a mistake we want him to go before brick so we can heal and then get this last deal but oh well we're gonna regen a little bit and we're going to get that oops well too late too bad it's not working out perfectly but good enough okay might as well snatch up this. Oh, more armor. Always love more armor. Okay. I like to come down here because I'm afraid I'm going to misclick. I've had that happen. Let's go ahead and put the bow on this guy. What do we got? Ooh, 5 chance to kill and 25 damage. Well, since he goes last anyways, it won't hurt anything to put this on there. Let's do this. Might save us a little bit of time. That way we can help in the back row. Alright, what do we got here? 45 armor and 25 chance, 20 chance to resist the stun. I definitely think that the armor would be ill. How did this guy get 20? Oh, I put this, um, hey, this is what it is. This helm. I put this helm on the guy and, yeah, I don't want that. I want it to go the other way. I'm still 24 to 25. See, the cleric doesn't have innate speed as high as a warrior. If you take off all their gear, the war the cleric will have five less quickness than the warrior will. So that's where things are going wrong there. Oh well, there's nothing we can do about that. We'll just let it be. Everybody has 50 hit points still. Uh, max. 
and I definitely want to put this armor on the cleric. So it's battered breastplates. We had a lot of those. Take the three health regen. Uh, one more. We'll just get rid of that. And we've got plain forged gauntlets. That looks like maybe an upgrade. No, thick is better than plain forged. But for the, it's better than this. So Ward can take that, and we can sell this. Oh, here we go. Look at that a spear. So that's another option uh, that we can use for death from the back row. Uh, depending on what we're trying to do, but I think the bow is going to be the thing. We need to pick off the back row while we hold the line in the front row. And that's where death's going to come in and help us do that, especially with the 5% chance to kill. That's going to help us a little bit. Okay, we're going to keep going. Well, let's beat this wrath down, this wraith down, or whatever it is. All right, let's just kill it. One shot, one kill. I like that part. All right, what do we get? Five armor, one dexterity, and 20% reduced damage from poison. Well, that's an upgrade. It's not the greatest, but it's something. Let's see what else we got here. A witch and skeleton. Let's heal up a little bit. All right, we're going to attack here. And did we get, no, the freeze did not kick in. Well, that's good. Anytime that they don't, she doesn't put the poison in, I don't have to heal everything. It's so much better. All right, Ward will finish off this thing. And there we go. Now we can retreat this guy. Blaze can rest. Alright, Brick can get a little health back. Ward will go ahead and heal. Blaze can rest. Brick can rest. Ward can heal Blaze. Blaze can get out. And back to regular business. 32. Rest. 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 A bit of damage. Let's heal. And we'll finish it next time. And that's the best we can do, pretty much. Alright. Definitely power regeneration is excellent. Um, the reason we're not getting rid of some of the stuff, this one I think we can get rid of. Uh, I always try to save some of these normal items in case I get to one of those shrines that will convert a normal item into a purple item. Some, I guess, epic or whatever it is. In this case, I probably would convert the steel spear, but you gotta look and make sure right here, these plain forge gauntlets, they might convert. Uh, so you wanna try to limit it down to one thing, so when you get there, then you, eh, if we see one, but uh, if you get there, then you wanna have just one in your inventory, then you hit the shrine and it'll change that one thing. And you want to make sure that you know what you want, pretty much. So I save one of everything, and then I figure out what I want when I hit one of those shrines. Oh, well, we keep going. I think this is the next best battle. Okay. Should be all right. All right, we've got cursed. That's fine. Dead. And um, 
We were stunned. That's always dangerous. All right, we're going to rest. We're going to retreat with death. We're going to retreat with blaze and brick. He's cursed 30%. Uh, let's see, hits for 32, 29. So he hits for 30, and 30% 30 of that's 10. So not so good, but is what it is. Whoa, that is a lot. Let's heal. Let's see how much this thing does. 15. Well, we should have poisoned it before we left, but I didn't want to have to heal them because we'll just keep going like this. Wait. We'll wait. Ward will heal. Bonehole goes. Brick will attack again. Next time is a kill shot, so we'll just wait. Bone horror goes. Brick will wait. Ward will heal. Bone horror. And brick. And that's it. We got a ring. Well, you know, this probably is an upgrade. Uh, 25, 22 inch. No, not an upgrade. Up speed. Yeah, well, uh, what are we going to get? Three more speed. This goes 13, you'll be 16. You'll still go last. And here, one power regeneration. I usually would go with the cleric for sure with power regeneration. Those heals, we need as much healing as we possibly can. I'm not getting rid of anything yet until... Well, let's do this. Yeah, we probably can do this now. Let's heal up all the way. Let's heal up all the way, and then good. This guy goes last, so we can get a strike. Okay, we can heal up all the way. You know what? I can put him down there. Okay, and Blaze will go here. Go ahead, he's not cursed, but let's just go ahead and do Defiant just in case. And let's try to do this, and Death will finish him off. We do not want to poison, so we're going to wait on that. He's Defiant, so alright, we're going to rest here. We're going to heal. Death is going to start working on... No, we got instant kill. See, we can't... We don't want to do it too early. We need to heal all the way up so we'll be strong for that next battle. We can get out with Blaze. And we can just hang back here with a little bit of brick action. And 32, we can just keep pounding him down. Rest in here. Rest in here. Get out with Blaze. Brick can keep attacking. Ward will rest. Death will wait. I don't know what he shoots for. 27. So I actually could kill him on this path, but we're not going to do that. We're waiting. We don't want to go now. We're going to heal. No, we're going to wait. Yeah, we're going to wait one more turn. Okay, so now we can attack here without killing. All right, then Ward can heal, and Death can finish. And that way we've got the most that we're going to get. And a bobble of poison. Well, we're seeing a little of everything this time. Plus four on top of four. That's not bad. I think I'm going to sell it though. At this level of the game, four poison, it's going to be useless in two or three turns. It's worth 240 gold. Of course, it's not that much. I like to optimize, but I don't like to go crazy when it comes to optimization. This is a little bit better. 
Actually, this guy needs dexterity and he needs to go a little bit faster. So maybe that would be worth it. <laughs> now I just threw those things away, so... Probably not going to do anything about that. You know, I'm thinking let's just use it. Let's have fun and let's just go crazy. Well, you know what? We're probably, as soon as we pop that on there, we're going to get a better staff. Uh, and then I'm going to be upset, so... And also, I can put it on, you know, we might get, you know, let's wait for the epic weapon, whatever we're going to get, and the end of this round, and then we'll plug it in for next time. Yeah, I want to save it, because you never know what we're going to run into next time, and I want to make sure that we have what we need to win. You always save things if you can. If you don't need it, and this, I don't think we're needed for this battle, because the race, everything is halfway immune to poison, and this in this round. Okay, let's go for the skeletons here. Let's do this one. Let's use this guy to maybe absorb some of this damage. As you never know. Alright, we definitely want to kill this thing up here. Poisoned but not frozen. All right, poison everybody, of course, but that's all right. We can heal ourselves with brick right here, and we're gonna go ahead and finish this thing off. I'm gonna work on this. Uh, take some damage there. Let's go ahead and finish this. That will take some of the pressure off of this guy. Let's just heal a little bit with this. We don't want to kill the skeleton. Well, that doesn't really matter. We only got one skeleton to kill after this. Alright, let's go ahead and heal Brick. He's going to take the most damage. Make sure that we don't get too damaged. Blaze. That freeze just only kicks in one out of just a small percentage. We can pass on this. Let's heal ourselves. We don't want to die. Death can finish that guy, and we're pretty safe now. Okay, let's pass, and we'll just uh, heal up a little bit. We're only going to fight one skeleton, so actually we can we can go crazy now. At this point, we'll pass on this and shoot this guy, and we're ready for the next battle. Excellent. That's a good piece of gear, maybe. A definite upgrade. And a little bit of quickness. We want this guy to get as much as we can. But we didn't get a shield, as you notice. Which is going to hurt us a little bit. We're only at 31% damage reduction, so it's definitely going to be a harder battle than it would be otherwise. And here's damage reflection. Maybe we should put that on the cleric. The cleric's got 27 damage reduction. If anyone's going to die, well, I think power regeneration, you know what, it's really not that important. Better to have damage reflection, I think, in this case, especially early in the game. Power regeneration is good if you're the cleric. It's also good if you're doing the stuns and whatnot, but for this time, we don't have anything that we really need. I mean, this does 26 this does 25 and then 18 to all around. One more regen isn't going to do anything, but that damage reflection can add up a little bit. And do we want to put more armor? Yeah, that strength isn't helping us back there in the back. Not with the bow. And we want the bow instead of the spear. Spear does a lot of damage, but we want to kill the back row as quickly as possible. So let's take the armor. Yeah, we're not going to hit. We're going to have quickness 9, but we're going last anyways. Uh, we didn't get a really good bow, so... Even if we put on the bow... Um, which I'd rather have the 5% chance to kill, but... If we put on the bow, we'll be at 29. We're still going last. So we might as well... Go ahead and put on that crossbow. Okay, 
We can do this last battle. Might as well put him down there. And we're just going to kill because we're going to hit the shrine before we go. I want to be max, max, max before we fight this last battle. So we've done 9 out of 10, 98 explored. So that's this the last room we have to explore and the last battle we have to do. So that's where we're going to uh, cut, the, cut the deal here. But let's see. One more intellect would be better for heals, but I'd rather have that armor. And let's see, I'd rather have the health regen. Health regeneration is a lot better. So that's where we're at. If we fail uh, for some reason, then we can use this poison and we can do whatever else we need to do. Let's go ahead and hit the... Let's make sure we're geared up. I think we are. We've got back rank, the bow. We've got... Drain health is really working for us. That's going to help us a lot. As long as we don't get cursed. If we get cursed, then we're not going to attack at all with brick. Because we just don't want to lose, uh, lose all that health. Okay, I think we're ready. We're going to use the altar. And we're going to be ready for our battle. Uh, the final battle next time. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Be well, and we'll see you next time.